So you finally did it. You picked an editing program, you chose Premiere, and you opened it up and- Oh my god. What is this? How, how do I- How do I even- What? Is this where- I put the- What? Hey, you know what? Ah, uh, screw this. I'm just gonna- Let's just close this out. Yeah, here. You gave up. But not today. Because you're gonna learn Premiere right here, right now, on Route 1 Reels, step by step, in little bite-sized chunks. All right, so the first thing when you open Adobe Premiere that you want to pay attention to is you're going to see the screen. We're going to get you set up in this first video with merely getting pr Premiere ready for you to put video files in. So what you want to do on the left, there's going to be spaces for a new project. Go ahead and click a new project. And this is going to open up a window that you'll, will allow you to name your project as well as pick a uh, renderer for your project and uh, a location to save that project. So first let's go ahead and name our project. We're just going to use this as uh, YouTube test. And here is the location right here where it's going to be saved. Right now it's going to be saved in my A hard drive. You go ahead and pick a place. You can hit browse over here on the right that you want to save this project. Most of the time it's going to default for you and you can just go ahead and leave it there but maybe there's a place that you want it to find it easier, you can go ahead and uh, make that change here. We're just going to leave it under the default. And now we're going to look at this video rendering and playback right here. Now, for most people, you can just leave it alone. But if you have a computer that is higher end and you've built it uh, maybe to do videos or you purchased it to make videos, this can make a difference in your speed. Uh, as far as um, playback times and when you go out to actually finish your video and render it out it'll take less time depending on what graphics card you have okay um, if you have a Nvidia graphics card you want to choose this first option which allows you to use CUDA basically that's just specific to Nvidia everyone else can just use Mercury playback engine software only if you don't know, just leave it. I have an NVIDIA card, so I'm going to choose this. I'll show you what the NVIDIA logo looks like if that's on your computer. Go ahead and choose CUDA. And then click OK. So now, depending on whether you've opened Premiere first or not, you may see this screen, or you may see a different screen like this. This first screen is the assembly screen, and this allows you to find files on your computer directly in Premiere and put them in. Most of the time I don't use this. I will show you how it works, but I'm going to show you an easier way to import your stuff. So up here at the very top you have tabs for every single preset that you can use in order to speed up the process and just make things easier when you're editing. Um, the, the main one you're going to use is the editing tab. But for now, I'll show you the assembly tab on the left here. It will probably start out like this. You'll see nothing. There'll probably be nothing here. On the left, you can drop this down by clicking on local drives and that will show you your local drives here and you can pick a hard drive like local disk and go through and find your stuff. This can be a bit complicated for a new beginner. So what I want you to do is go over here to the editing tab and click on it. And this is going to bring up the editing window set and layout that's specific to editing. And down here in the bottom left, you'll see that Adobe is telling you to import media to start. And this is where you're going to put all of your folders and files. Now you can import stuff directly from here as well. There's a list view and an icon view. If it's on list view, I recommend switching over to icon view here. And this will, uh, I'll show you how this works in a minute. But you can actually browse media from here just like you can in the assembly tab by clicking on this media browser. Or go to the project and import the media. So go ahead and try it again, this time on your own, to make your own project. 
that isn't a test project for something that you want to make. And then meet me back here in the next video.